today is Wednesday. It is 11:17 right now. I'm on my way to get my facial done. So yeah, I'm on my way to get my facial done. I'm prepping for our vacation. We're going on a family vacation to Orlando. We leave Monday morning and our flight is at 6 a.m. So I'm I'm very, very very anxious to see like what this trip is gonna look like because a family of five trying to get ready for a flight at 6 a.m. like but babe booked this so he must have faith in us cuz I would never so today on the agenda we're gonna get our face done we're gonna get a facial and then we're gonna get a pedicure because my toes ugh, are crazy my toenail polish actually chipped off so I need to go get my toes done and then what else I have my laptop uh, I want to go drop it off for it to get fixed you guys I am strictly focused on the patio I want to um, put the flooring down of the patio and I also want to put up the lights so like I want to get some string lights and those you know planter um, hooks so that the string lights can hook onto, and that's about it. That's all I want to get done for um, this weekend. But guys, I'm super excited. The living room rug is on its way. It's coming. Um, I believe it's Friday. I don't know. That was super fast. If I get this rug Friday, I'm gonna be shook. Like I'm gonna be so shook because like Amazon. You guys know my whole ordeal with them was terrible. So the fact that I ordered the rug it already shipped and it's on my way to me I mean it's on its way to me like that's crazy like I don't know but um yeah I'm gonna get off the camera and I'll come back after I get my facial done and see what's next all right I'm at a like station guys I ended up getting my facial done I'm about to go and get my um Hey guys, today is Thursday. It is June 24th. It is about 1.25. I do apologize for yesterday. Um, I did not close out the vlog or come back on camera. I believe after I got my toes done because I caught a terrible migraine and I was so sick for like the rest of the day. I think it was because I was in the heat, I didn't eat anything hardly, and I was running around to all these stores. So my body just was like, hey sis, you was not taking care of us, what you doing? Like, So it just bit me in the butt and I had a huge migraine. Plus I started my cycle, so it just wasn't a good day for me. <laughs> but um, we are starting the day over. I got my coffee, y'all. I had went to Starbucks to get this cup because I wanted like a um, plastic like hard cup to carry my coffee in because when I go out to the stores, they just don't make it like me. Like Starbucks, I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all don't make my coffee like me. So I just wanted to basically make my own coffee and have the cup still because it is Starbucks coffee that I make, but y'all know what I mean. But, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put it up there. So, um, we are starting off the vlog in my room because I want to show you guys a couple of things. I went into a few stores yesterday. So, I have this huge bag from H&M. I went to H&M yesterday and I just went crazy in the basic section. Like I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. So this is gonna be like a little mini haul, but it's a good one, okay? Because I feel like I got some good stuff. Um, in total, I got 13 items. So I'm gonna show you guys. The first thing I got is this bag. It's like giving me Bottega vibes, like that padded quilted. I don't know, it's giving very much Bottega and um, it is like a nude color, which y'all know is my color. I love nude. See my nails. I love the nude. But yeah, it's just a over-the-shoulder um, bag. And it looks like this in the inside. I like it because you can do like a crossbody situation with it. Like you see, you can do like a little crossbody situation. Or you can carry it like, you know, around your shoulder like this but i just think it's a cute little bag it was only it's a cute little bag i love it it's it was only 24.99 so yeah 
cute little bag I will be adding to my collection. So the first thing I got is these sweatpants. I got these in a size small. They're $17.99. You guys, I don't know what happened to my sweatpants, but they're all just like either bleached or like, I don't know, they just don't fit or something like I don't know they're just not like what they used to be so I don't have much sweatpants so I just had to get some more they are like this darker gray um I gotta come close because my camera is like really bright I don't know why but they're just like these really gray um pants heather gray or whatever you want to call them really gray sweatpants I love them really cute have the side pockets of course and yeah th i love these because they taper at the end you know most some sweatpants like kind of go straight but these taper at the end i think those sweatpants um give your shape a little bit more you know curvy because of the tapered bottom i also got these pair these were in a size medium um i don't know how they're gonna fit because they are a medium but i wanted them because they're the high waisted regular fit sweatpants and these were $24.99 so the gray ones were $17.99 and these were $24.99 again they're from the divided line from H&M so you see how kind of like wider they are but they're the cream yellowish color so they're like this cream yellow color tapered at the bottom which I love the little scrunched um, ankles I love those and yeah side pockets as well with the adjustable waist so I don't know hopefully they won't be too big on me but okay and then I brought a whole bunch of shorts so I like I said I'm not a summer girl I don't care for the summer but I wanted some type of shorts because it is hot outside why is this hair sticking up <laughs> what where is it going I did want some type of shorts so what do you call these they're like kind of like gym sweatpants but they're shorts I don't know like they're sweat shorts I guess but they're really thin like you see how thin they are and I love them because you see how they kind of like curve so they're like kind of cheeky so they're not like just frumpy and ugly looking but these each were $12.99 they're from the basic line from H&M got these all in a size small they have the silver clamps at the end I like that detail so yeah the string is long enough because I hate when these shorts are made and the string is like so short like I just don't like that but these the string on these are very long which I like again same color as my sweatpants um I got the cream looking pair and I got like this whitish pair and then I got this two pack of two top shirts these were in a size small from the divided line I don't have any two tops like I don't know what happened to my two tops like I used to have a lot of them but I don't know they're gone now so I had to stock up on some more these were a two pack for $5.99 which is a good deal they are size small but they're in the color um like this nude color and this gray color yeah I could wear this with some sweatpants or something so yeah I'm happy I got these then I ended up getting this shirt which I think is so freaking cute so I got this bodysuit. I'm gonna bring it close so you guys can see the true color. It's like this whitish beige color. But look at the back. Like the back low dips and it is a um, bodysuit that snaps, which I love. I love the snap ones. I don't really like the ones that don't have a snap because I feel like those make you look weird. <laughs> because it kind of stretches and it doesn't fit right so and then this is the back which I freaking love like I said it has a low dip I just love this it's elegant I think it's so cute it's basic the straps are really skinny it's a basic suit but I just think the shape of it makes a statement to it it was only $9.99 I got it in a size small and then onto the tops I already showed you guys one tube top but I got some more tops so the first top I got is a basic shirt it was only $4.99 it's a basic t-shirt but I got it in this like sage greenish color I don't know it's like a sagey green color you guys know I have a couple pair of Yeezys and I just ordered some more so I needed shirts to match with those type of sneakers so this type of color matches perfectly it's like a sagey green color the other item I got is this basic shirt I got this in extra small actually because it's kind of big so it's like a muscle 
dress kind of like a muscle shirt dress it comes kind of long on me and the sh sleeves are kind of like cut off like you see how the sleeves are um it's really cute to dress up or you could just wear it down with some sneakers so and then i got a couple of tank tops first tank top that i got is just a razorback tank top in the color white and it is a size small for 9.99 and then these other two tank tops i'm so excited about because i love the colors of them so the first one is in this beautiful blue color you guys know I freaking love blue you guys know that that is my color it's kind of crappy but that's okay I just love how it looks then the next one I got is also a size small and it was also $9.99 dark gray color which I think is so cute it's not like all the other grays that I've had before so yeah yep super cute great essential pieces and basic so that's all I got from H&M I will do a try on haul for you guys so that you can have a better feel of the items and match it with like bags and sneakers so that you guys can see how I'm gonna pair it and um, I went to Target as well I got that Starbucks cup but I also got some pajamas so um, I got this tank top yeah this tank top was $12.99 and I got it in a size medium I thought I got it in a size small but I got it in a size medium and it's just this um, satin tank top you guys know I love the satin pajamas but I found the tank top and I just think it's so cute because this is the back of the tank top it's like very cute cross back detail so cute and then I got these shorts to match which are a size is this a size small yeah I got the shorts in size small and they look like this they're just like peachy summery pinkish reddish color i was happy i got these because they look real cute y'all but i want to show you guys um my patio because y'all let me just let me just show y'all because i can't even explain it let me just show y'all all right y'all so i went ahead and did the patio i have this much to go sorry i have my tripod right here because um I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. So I brought my tripod out here. But um, I went ahead and actually finished up this side. I know they're shaped differently, but like literally that's okay. Like most of this area right here will be covered with the patio furniture. So I'm not like that big deal about it. So I don't know. I feel like people are so serious and it's not ever that serious. Like I don't really care. But um, I just have to finish up this small corner right here. But I ran into a snag. So you see all of this. It's pretty much short. Like these tiles don't come all the way to the edge of the concrete. I've already started putting pieces right here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide these panels down. Because they're very easy to move. Like they're not hard at all to like slide down. Like, I can just literally push this down. You see how I'm like sliding it? Like, you hear that? Like, I could just literally slide this down to the edge, which I'm gonna do now, and save myself the trouble of trying to cut because I had to like literally hand saw these um, pieces apart because you can't use regular scissors or anything. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna slide this down. And because our patio couch is gonna be alongside this area anyway, you won't be able to see it. I'm going to um, just slide that down. And if it's that big of a deal, I will put these pieces over there along the side to cover this small edge because I just think it looks better to just slide all this down versus trying to cut these pieces to get um cut these pieces apart and put them all right here all right guys i have that little bit of corner and dang i don't want to go all the way back to ikea to get some more but it looks like i'm gonna have to because i just need one more box um i don't know I'm not worried about this right here at all because like I said, the furniture will cover that. I plan on having like all of our furniture over here. So I don't know guys, should we go back? It's just this little bitty corner. Like, oh. what I'm probably gonna do is take um, the tile from that end and just put it right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to Ikea tomorrow. 
I don't feel like going today. Um, it's hard as a fly out here. Um, I don't feel like going today because it's already kind of later in the evening and I don't like driving to the city around this time because it's a whole bunch of traffic. So I got this rug out because I want to make sure it's not too big. I'm also going to show you guys what I got from Lowe's yesterday because I didn't show you what I got from Lowe's because I also went to Lowe's. But let me show you guys right now. I got these street lights from Lowe's, you guys. They're 24 feet long and I got these shepherd hooks to hook the lights on because the shepherd hooks are going to go like right here alongside the house. So that's what I'm going to work on next after I um, see about this rug over there from Ikea. Sorry it's kind of messy but I've been working back here. Okay now it's actually a perfect size. Okay so the rug is actually a good size. I didn't want anything um, too big and this is going to just serve as like the center i'm going to have like the couch along this side and then maybe like some chairs or something right here i don't know how i'm going to do it but the table is kind of going to be right there and then the rug i mean and then the couch alongside the walls right there i'm probably going to get another plant to go right here um i just have to be careful because our door does open from right there so i have to make sure it's not blocking it too much but yeah guys it's coming together y'all see the vision i can see it like I, I can literally see it once we get that um couch right here or the patio furniture and like some puffs on the other side oh it's gonna look so good i do want to get another plant so i'm going to go back to ikea and get one more box of tile because all i need is one more um because literally right here it's only three pieces it's like one two three so three squares but whatever i just gotta go back and get that because that's gonna bother me and then one more plant and pot and that's it okay guys update what we went through trial and error we ended up using those bike hooks that i showed you guys in another vlog i don't know if y'all can tell we tried this command strip um hook that didn't work but we used the bike hooks into this panel right here alongside the house and that seemed to work. So, Habe is doing the other side. And we have one over here. We have them in all four corners of the house. These are the hooks right here. I showed you guys from Amazon. Meant for bikes, but they're heavy duty steel ones. All right guys, this is what we're looking like so far. This was such an ordeal getting these lights up. We broke some because they fell. You guys, whew, trial and error, right? But like I said, we use those bike hooks. They're the heavy duty ones. Or you can shop them on my Amazon home link, which is also below in the description box. But this is what we're looking like. Um, we use four hooks on each corner, one right there over there that corner right there and of course right here so this is what we're looking like i am super super satisfied um the rug is a little wrinkly but it'll straighten out once the table or the fire pit comes on top of it and babe was saying that we might not need to go to ikea to get more of these panels because once our couch comes we might take those apart because the couch is going to be underneath i mean because the couch is going to be on top of it anyway so we might as well move those over here and just leave that part empty but tomorrow we are going to go look at the actual um what is that the patio furniture so i'll decide what i'm going to do because i still want to get one more plant so i just have to see how the couch is going to look but we got these tiki torches the black metal ones on each side and yeah i'm just super excited about how it looks back here the kids love it it's just a vibe you guys again don't worry about that edge piece right there because furniture will be covering that and this is just the base like i cannot wait to actually build on this like i'm gonna step back to show you guys uh, i'm just super excited 
I'm super excited, you guys. It just gives a whole nother feel back here. It just feels so, I don't know, so bohemian already. I don't know, but I love the way it looks. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this part. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, so um, we went to the um, furniture spot. I didn't film in there because it was honestly like a little warehouse, y'all. I'm not even gonna front with you. Like, it wasn't like some spectacular place. We went to like this little warehouse that I saw on um, Facebook Marketplace and I got this six piece set for 350 <laughs> so I don't even care I just picked it up all right so here is the set we still have this box right here that we have to like unpack but this is the set right here it is like a dark espresso type of color and it comes with these like uh, beige whitish um, covers It came with these ugly red pillows right here, but honestly, I could keep these and use these for um, the patio still, but I'll just get pillow covers, so. Instructions right here, and then the tools right here. And I'm gonna keep this box. Never know we're gonna need a big box like this. No, I'm just gonna start building the furniture real quick and hopefully it doesn't take long. Okay guys, so this is the patio so far with our um, furniture looking crazy. Let me go over here because I don't know if you can see that, but it's super dark. Oh, and this freaking bug is flying. It's super dark, like you see that? You can't see anything back there. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna be at nighttime, but we just gonna have to see because there could be some <laughs> Maybe some animals coming out from you know the darkness like look at that light I don't know where that light's coming from child like it just looks scary back there I don't know why but the lights are like coming off as like white but they're really really like orangey they're like an orange color they're not um bright which I like I want it like you see how they are they're like an orangey color that's exactly what I wanted for this type of patio feel so yeah guys this is how everything looks tomorrow morning or you know afternoon i will show you guys what everything looks like and i'm about to go inside because there's like hella bugs out here so yeah y'all i will see y'all tomorrow hey guys it's saturday today is june 26th and it is about 12 54 in the afternoon um today is the last day of the vlog and we have so much to do today because like Y'all, we have so much to do, trust me. I need to get to the stores, I need to finish the patio. And I wanna share with you guys something that just came in, just got delivered. I wanna show you guys really quickly because I'm super excited about it, hopefully. So our rug came in. They left it at the door earlier today. This is what it looks like and we're about to open this up to see how it looks i have to move the couches and the end tables out the way um macy got a new car <laughs> this was actually sold on um facebook marketplace it was really cheap i guess and um it's like a car that she could actually control herself she has all her crackers and stuff in here already child but um you guys know she has that pink jeep but this one she could actually drive herself and she's been doing that so yeah, but anyways, <laughs> I just have to show you guys all the stuff that I have to move out the way. Not this stuff really, but this end tables and couches. So yeah, I'm gonna prop the camera up to show you guys how it looks. I'm super nervous. Let me see my coffee in the background. <laughs> I'm super nervous. Hopefully it turns out good, but yeah, let's.
All right, so this is the rug all laid out. I didn't um, obviously get any, I took my shoes off, but it's kind of rolled up at the ends because that's where the cardboard was, which makes sense. But um, I should have got a liner for the rug, but at this point, it doesn't matter because the couch will be on top of it, but it's a big rug. Like, you guys see how big it is? Let me step back. It's pretty big. Prince is already on it, but these prong things, um, plastic prongs, they come on each of the pieces and you just slide them onto these like silver things to connect the couch. Um, so you can make it all one big piece so that's not sliding all over the place. Okay guys, this is the rug. I'm super excited on how it came out. Um, I'm so happy I went with this rug. You guys knew that I was <laughs> changing my mind back and forth. Oh my gosh, look at my nails are all ratchet. I swear, my nails broke all this weekend from me trying to do all this furniture. But this is the rug. I have to get some um sticky stuff so that the <laughs> mat can lay flat it's not too bad on this side but definitely on this side where the um cardboard was at see how it's all up i have to get like some sticky pads down i know i needed a liner you guys do not have to bum the comments saying you should have got a liner no i know i already know but too bad the rug is down and it's staying down <laughs> i'm not getting a liner for the rug um anymore because i don't feel like doing all this because this was a task to do connect the knees and putting this on was a task so i'm happy that it definitely fits our couch but we still have so much room like i don't know like the rug still doesn't cover everything you know what i mean which is not bad though i'm not complaining at all but it just makes me feel good that this living room is really that big because literally we have still space going around our um couch and I was thinking like the rug would cover this part, but it didn't, so I love this rug. And you guys, honestly, I'm happy that the rug has like the black stripes, which is one of the reasons why I purchased this rug because most of the white part is underneath the couch. I hope you guys definitely like it because I love it. It definitely matches our theme. I cannot wait until the curtains arrive to go all the way up to the ceiling. I cannot wait because they are off-white linen curtains and it's just gonna like turn the space into even better space. So yeah, I'm super duper excited. Also, my package came from Naked, which I didn't even think it was coming because I did not get any tracking information on it, but um, she sent it out. So I'm gonna do like an unboxing with you guys so you can see the candles that I got. Hold on, let me prop y'all up. Y'all know I gotta prop y'all up. <laughs> this came in perfect timing because I literally can put all my candles up. And yeah, you guys, I'm super excited about this package right here. Because this is the um, sand collection. You guys know I always purchase like each collection that comes out. And this one is the sand collection, so I'm super excited to smell it because I have to look at my order because I completely forgot what I ordered because it's been so long. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so I believe this one is grapefruit. Mm, it's a two wick candle. The name kind of came off. The other one I got is called Beechwood. See, this is how it looks. Mmm, this is Beechwood. This smells so Mm, this smells so good. I'm about to burn this now. I'm about to put it right here and burn it now. And then the last one I got is called Caribbean Salsa. But it's gold, you guys. Like, you see? It's in this gold tin. Mmm, it smells so freaking good. All of them are wooden wicks, so... Mm, this one smells really fruity. I'm actually going to put this one um, next to my pompous grass because it's gold, so I want it to go there. But yeah, guys, that's all the candles that I got, um, and I'm super, super excited. I'm about to burn these right now. 
all right so i came back here to the patio and <laughs> this is the situation that we're in right now <laughs> with the whole furniture and stuff i have the broom y'all because i was um sweeping but what i'm about to do is basically move these furniture pieces out the way and um put the black blocks or tile over in this area because we're going to get a grill today and i want it to be covered All right, so this is what the patio is looking like so far. Um, I'm sending Babe to go get another plant and pot to put it on the other side because I do want um, a plant, two of them. So yeah, Babe is gonna get another one from Ikea right now. I actually have to measure the space to make sure that we get a grill that fits this space. But um, yeah, I'll just do that in a second. So once I get the grill in here, and add the extra plant that's like this I think I'll be good and then extra decor pieces like I said I need to get a tabletop um, fire pit because I like the idea of this ottoman but I do want a fire pit so I have to go look for like one of those tabletop ones because in the cooler uh, days and fall time we can like roast some s'mores or whatever so but you guys see that do you hear that? Besides the other kids yelling <laughs> from the other houses, but it's okay, they're not too loud. But do you hear the nature and do you see the woods? Oh, it's just a vibe right here. And you guys, we have plenty of space to put a pool. So that's what I wanna go look at uh, when Babe comes back. I wanna go to the store so that I can look for a pool and also get, um, I gotta return those stakes right there. They're right there in the ground. I gotta return those. I'm ready to like have a drink, y'all. I'm ready to get my drink. Y'all, but look at me. <laughs> I am relaxed. I am feeling myself. All right, guys, I'm back from Target. Um, we tried to go to Lowe's to get a, um, what is that called? A grill, but it wasn't fitting in the car, obviously, so we just gonna do what it do. But I wanna show you guys what I got from Target real quickly. And then I'm gonna set the rest of the patio up and then I'm gonna end the vlog, okay? Because my family's here. We're celebrating my sister's birthday and I got to go. So, really quickly from Amazon, I got this bug zapper. I'm not too sure if it's gonna work or not. I will link it below. It had really good reviews, but it comes with the attractive pad and it's waterproof. It has a plug, so you just plug it in. And yeah, hopefully this works. I'm gonna set that up today. I got these Centronella Backyard Candles from Target. They were on sale for like $4.99 or something like that. So I got two of them. They smell good too. I like the smell of Centronella. And then I got this. I got this plant potter. Remember I told you my plant in the front broke from the storm? So I got this Hilton Carter one and it was on sale for $10. So got that really, really sturdy. Gonna use that in the front of the house. Pool, I'm kind of excited about this, y'all. So I got this pool, right? From y'all girl, Joanna, Joanna, whatever her name is. I got this hearth and hand pool. Y'all know I'm all about the aesthetic. Y'all know I'm all about the aesthetic. Sorry for my nails, but y'all know I'm all about the aesthetic for the house. So I got this black and white inflatable pool from Hearth and Hands. So cute. I'm about to blow it up to see how it looks. Oh yeah, hold on. I also, and then I got the um, electric air pump to pump this pull up with. So let's see how this all looks. Cause I'm about to try it out now. All right guys, this is what we're looking like so far. And I did blow up 
the pool. I blew up the pool. This is the hearth and hand pool from Joanna. It was like $39.99, I think. And I got this yoga mat to lay down so that, you know, hopefully when the kids do go in the pool or when Macy goes in the pool, she can walk on there instead of on the grass, keep the pool clean, you know. This was $5 at Five Below. That was $5 at Five Below. And yeah, the tiki torches, that's the um, bug thing. I still have to get an extension cord for that. But overall, I think it came out cute. I got the other Ikea plant. And yeah, this is how we're looking.